Welcome to the Do Better Podcast. I am your host, Theo Coop, and we are back with another video. The video we're watching today comes from the Lapeef Network. It's a bit of a classic clip, and it features my kindred soul, the lead attorney. So let's go ahead and get started. Do you think the men in your family were taught how to treat women? Yes. Okay, they were. Were they taught how to protect themselves from women? Yes. In what way? Um. <laughs> Good question, Rilla. Just not even getting into certain situations, um, especially as black men, knowing certain things that could happen, um, things like that. Do you think it's okay if you as a man were not hurt? And I would never do it, so I'm not trying to advocate for people hitting, yes, but is. I'm just saying hypothetically, if a woman that was small hit you, do you think you should hit her back even though you weren't hurt? Absolutely. It doesn't matter what size you are. Keep your goddamn hands to yourself. And what she's doing is making an attempt to minimize the amount of damage that a woman does to a man. Oh, he doesn't hurt. You're six two, and she's only five foot. Get the fuck out of here. I absolutely think I should have the right to hit that lady back. Get her, lady. No hurt. Absolutely. It Why? cannot be the case that some. Why? Why do you think it's okay to walk around putting hands on people? So in that case, it's Kayla's 5'3". If a smaller woman comes up to her who's 4'10 and punches her in her goddamn jaw, it shouldn't be that big of a deal. It wasn't as painful as if a 5'7 woman came up and punched you. It's no logic, man. 5'3 woman gets to run around and hit every 6-foot man. Like, what world are you living in? Exactly. Just because you can't hurt... Wait, 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 wait. Just because a woman, just because a woman is 5'3 and can't hurt a man over six foot means that she just gets to walk around and hit every single man willy-nilly? No, no. Well, there you go. So, so okay, so are you saying that it's men's duty to... Jesus Christ, who said the word duty? Are you... Come on, Cassie I'm, okay. I'm, I'm starting to see what people are talking about. I'm asking. said the word duty, but you, like, you're putting words in my mouth. I'm not. I said I'm what I said. You. I'm asking you. No, he didn't do say that. Well, don't know what well, if you ask me then, but don't put words in my mouth I'm when not. you ask me. I said, do you think? <laughs> and that's the thing, Kayla, you can't play word games with an attorney. And she learned this right here on the spot. That it's a man's duty to put like a smaller woman in her place if she tries to hit him. No. It's not a man's duty to put any woman in her in her place. You're a grown ass woman. Keep yourself in your place. No. It's her duty I, to keep her hands to herself. Hold on, exactly. Wait, 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 hold, on, hold on, wait, because I don't want Kay to miss. I don't want Kay to misunderstand what the lead was saying. Kay, the way you started with the question, you said, "Are you saying that it's a man's duty?" Right. Exactly, Rilla. So that's exactly. a different. That's a different question. That's why, why he was saying, "Don't put words in my mouth." Thank you, Rilla. That's a different way of asking. So are you you're saying, saying like, Rilla and I are actually listening not? to the words that are coming out of your mouth, even if you're not listening to them. Like, <laughs> I love the lead. I get, very, I get very offended when people put words in my mouth because I choose oh, my words. Too. I choose my words precisely. I feel you. I'm not. I didn't. I wasn't trying to put words in your mouth. I was saying, so, do you feel is? Okay, this ain't the fight you want. That do you? What do you think about that? Is a what man should have the duty to make sure that he is protected at all times, at all times, and should allow no one to no just one. walk around willy nilly hitting him whether or not he feels subjectively or objectively that that person can or cannot hurt him i don't know Kay. i don't know if she has children or not but i guarantee you she wouldn't advocate for her son to let some woman just abuse the fuck out of him and i wish somebody would have asked her that on this panel because i guarantee you that would have been the answer lead i have a oh, question fine. i oh. have a question so let's just take the dynamics of you and k and k's five three you're six three and i like courtney's I think she tries to play both sides and you can't, man. A whole foot. And she hits you. What? And you're like, I, well, you hit me. I should be able to hit you back. What about an, an alternative? And I'm just asking of a restraint since you're bigger and grabbing the fuck, grabbing her app <laughs> and calling the police and saying she's right now hitting me. Come here and arrest her for assault. Why is it my responsibility to restrain another adult? Restrain your goddamn self. You're an adult. Act like one. If you're five foot two and I'm six foot, keep your fucking hands to yourself. The same way I know as a six foot man, I'm not going to go around talking shit to a six foot six man. It's common consent. 
and women are are intelligent they're just as capable they're just as smart as men until logic is presented in front of them and then they're fucking children again excuse my rant and having it legally on the books mm -hmm. that she hits men yeah first of all uh, well, I'll take your second point first. First of all, no one cares that women hit men. Exactly. When you say legally on the books that she hits men, no one cares. She's not going to get punished for that. So that's not a deterrent at all. Second of all, if I restrain her, if I grab her wrist, it's going to be a mark. Mm -hmm. So guess what? We're both going to jail. Good point. Oh, you're right? super so I, I am self restraining her, doing what you say I should do. And then when the cops show up and see my fingerprints on her wrist, we're both going. But and that's the best side. case scenario because so what then she what could, should you do? But hold on, Kay, let him finish. Yeah, let him get Go to ahead, his Lee. damn point. What I'm saying is your your <laughs> Lee so annoyed with Kay, <laughs> with Kayla, or Kay. Yeah, solution is the best case scenario. Okay. Whenever the cops show up, they see bruises on her wrist, but they don't see any bruises on me. So now she's free, and I'm going to jail. Right. And these same cops have probably been raised. Uh, especially down here in Georgia, under yeah. the assumption that men don't hit women regardless. Yeah. That's why it's all messed up on all different levels. Well, let me ask you this, because you're restraining, you know, you're talking about holding the wrist. Restraining could be a bear hug and telling her, you know what I'm saying? Are but you serious? If you, but Why are you guys know, breaking you down? Y'all gotta let me finish. The beer not let me, threw me off. Not let me talk. I, I'm really happy for you. I'm let you finish. Courtney, I'm sorry. And I'm, I apologize for keep stopping the video, but no. Here's the issue that irritates me the most about the situation. In a nutshell, the fact that this conversation is lasting this long. It's a conversation that should go on for less than 10 seconds. If you're a woman, do not put your hands on a man for a multitude of reasons. But let's just talk about the most basic and logic one. Men are typically taller, stronger, bigger than you are. So, logically speaking, someone who's smaller shouldn't go pick a fight with someone that's larger. Men can comprehend this 24-7, 365 days a year. As a six-foot man, I'm not going to go talk shit to a six-foot-seven man. Me, I'm a logical man. At six-foot, I'm not going to go talk shit to a five-foot-six man. And I'm not going to put my hands on anyone. That was just a, a But the man idea. is going to protect, they're going to protect oh, themselves. If the woman out of control, they're going to protect I'm, themselves. I have not. In the story. Okay, please stop. And the reason they keep cutting you off, Courtney is because you're attempting to argue a bullshit point and that's why they keep cutting you off and that's why I'm cutting you off because you're attempting to argue something that shouldn't be argued everyone else always says oh you have to listen to all positions not if someone is coming from a bullshit position no you don't and let me talk all right talk to me about the bear hug okay so Courtney. I'm not even that's just an no, idea no, no. Maybe, uh, uh, listen you got because I cut you off at the bear hug, so fine. Uh, finish no, your, finish your point about the bear hug. I'm, I'm sorry I cut I'm, you off at the bear hug. <laughs> I'm trying to finish a sentence. So even with that, but if you hit her, being that you're a foot taller, you don't think that's going to be an imprint more than trying to strain her, than what fight her? Mean? What is that? What is and if she doesn't get anything on her, well, no, you don't get anything on her because she's not strong enough to do any kind of uh, bruise on you, but you're able to bruise her when you fight her and the police come, who getting arrested? The police, when they come, they're looking at who is more messed up. Yeah, there's no they telling. Do. The there's come, no the telling what's going to happen. Though. Yeah. It's, uh, when the situational. Police come, really when the, situational. When, when the, no, it's not. When the police come, they examine the woman they examine the man and they see who her and holding her hands. My thing is you going to get more arrested if you're fighting her and she has a black eye. Courtney, there's no such thing as more arrested. That's like me and more and, pregnant. I mean, no. You can't be. <laughs> okay, <let me. laughs> Are you kidding me? Come on, man. You're not pregnant or you're not. <laughs> Courtney, come okay. on. You mean okay, you're taking these long soliloquies? No, you don't want people I, to I'm cut you not. Off, I'm giving Jay, legit even Jay was like, I don't understand what you're saying. No one's it tell you're saying more arrested. Court let me break down what you did incorrectly in this video. You kept bringing up this point because this was a hill you were attempting to die on. But here's the deal. You got to choose wisely when you're picking hills to die on. <laughs> Some of them are just not worth it. And this was one of those conversations that was just not worth it. You were trying to argue a wrong point. And you were trying to argue a wrong point to make it right. Man. And gotta stop doing this, man. Wrong is wrong.
I mean, are you making any sense? I'm giving. Are you There's saying, no such thing as more arrested okay, for a well, man. Okay, well, excuse that I said that, lead attorney. Okay. She's getting a bit defensive now because Lee was making fun of her about the more arrested part. That was just more of a slip of the tongue. But his bigger point is that she's not making any sense. She thinks she is. Hey, that was a, a misspoke, okay? So, so excuse me for saying, saying that. that words matter. I said, what, so, uh, okay, and I'm saying <laughs> excuse me for saying that. That's why I what, cut uh, you okay, off. Well, I don't, uh, I don't let wanna... me explain what I'm trying to say. Explain what I'm saying again. is that... We're talking about now arrest and who's going to get it, fingerprints or, or restraining her. Once again, she's creating an entire scenario instead of addressing the initial issue, which is the woman putting her hands on a much larger man. What are we talking about here? It's not and an investigation police, right now. It's... And calling the police <laughs> will have, a, I think, more of an effect then you fighting her and you're bigger than her and making more bruises on her and when the police come they're going to look at you and her and see what's who's more battered you want to know this and they're going to yeah. arrest the person that has the least bruises on them are you, are you, are you yeah, this remind me of a conversation there? i had with my son yeah he just messy missing he want to bring up everything else but what we talking about in order to this try to be right oh uh, great point jr jr doesn't speak much but great point what are you talking about there? No, what are you talking about i know, right exactly, now? I know exactly. exactly i think y'all I mean, missing it yeah y'all yeah they are it's we already know what this is about i think you I know think what the interesting that, thing is about this whole thing jr is that <laughs> they the whole they thing just it. goes and y'all are missing it and you trying to and k it. trying to defend courtney and you got jr Rilla and Anton all saying the same thing, and I'm thinking it as well. Y'all missing it, man. Y'all both no missing it. No one is defending it. She's she trying, she trying to pick ladies, you up. Listen, both of no, y'all are missing it. Ladies, both of y'all missing it. Ladies, lead all smiles, loving it. Under no circumstance <laughs> should, a, should a woman just think she's gonna hit ladies, a man. No right. That's that. exactly it. If they hit, no if they hit the man, that. it's gonna be up to that individual man whether he responds or not. And that's beer. That's it. And that's if if there's any women watching who don't understand, that's it. That's the whole point of this conversation. This conversation should be over at this point. Women cannot walk around thinking it's okay to hit men. If you don't hit a man, you won't have to worry about this conversation. Yes, there are some abusive men. There's some abusive ain't shit men just beat the hell out of women. And those piece of shit men should be under the fucking prison. Now, a lot of these situations would be avoided if women did not think it was okay to put their hands on men. Think about this. Courtney tried to plead for three minutes how a man should try to restrain restrain her if he's larger than her. Do X, do A, do B, do C. But she never mentioned that, oh yeah, this one woman shouldn't hit this man in the first place. He can't be mad at him in the no story. He, he knew what was going on. He knew what was going on. You know what, you know what else is? You know what the interesting thing about this whole thing is? How y'all gonna make a wrong right right now? Nobody should. What did I say, man? Wrong is wrong. And that's something that happens so much in these conversations, man. Women will defend terrible behavior just because it's perpetrated by other women. Yeah, that's not making no, no sense. I think you know that Courtney... Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Okay, wait, wait. go ahead, the interesting thing. The interesting thing about it is that they will spend 99.9% .9 per of their time trying to get you to figure out how to be more reactive instead of solving the problem which is you should not put your hands on a man that was the you first thing even, everyone you said don't even, you don't even you don't even get into this situation if y'all y'all need to spend more time having conversations with women and saying hey you're not equal to a man you're not as strong as a man keep your hands off of him and you won't find yourself in a position where he gotta try to restrain you oh my. man and Tom pretty much hit the nail on the head right there at the end when it comes to the topic of women hitting men, women will, will spend majority of their time making excuses and trying to think of reasoning how men should change their reaction or ways that they should try to de-escalate the situation between a woman instead of just telling the, the woman, don't put your goddamn hands on a man. It makes me so infuriated because it's simple logic. And one of the things I hate is when people throw simple logic to the side for, for stupid invalid reasons and here's the simple logic that's being discarded by women in this conversation simple logic follow me if you're a five foot person you probably shouldn't walk around talking shit to someone who's six foot or five ten and this is something you kind of learn as a kid yeah if i'm a small kid i shouldn't start talking shit to a big kid people who are larger usually have the leverage of course not all 
there was a there was a time in my life where I thought that maybe women just didn't understand it. But then it hit me one day. Women aren't fucking stupid. A woman knows not to walk up to another woman and slap the shit out of her. You know why? Because that woman's going to punch her ass back. So if women can figure this out when it comes to other women, how is it that they miraculously can't understand and follow this simple logic when it comes to men? No. What it is is that they believe that they should have the right to hit a man and a man should just take it. And I'm saying fucking no. This is something I said years ago. Every man doesn't have the same temperament. If Let's say a woman just squared up and punched me in the face. I'm not likely... Depending on the situation, I'm not likely to react and meet force with force. If a woman just slugs me in the face, my personality, I'm not likely to turn around and hit her like I would hit a man. But every man is not me and every man does not possess my temperament. You may go down the street and punch another dude and he, he give you an MP. You know what an MP is? That's a man punch, ladies. If you don't want a man to hit you, don't hit him. Don't put a man in that situation. But hey, what the hell did all I know? I'm just a pothead talking on YouTube. You guys let me know if I got it wrong. Be your cool. After party in the comments. Do better.